Good evening, America. It is me, your awesome president, Mick Swolson. I would like to make this public service announcement to our visitors, the Trumptarians, and I actually take it as a compliment that you want to learn about America's sweet policies. I was just informed that the uh, main topic of this announcement will be the Bill of Rights. I actually have a copy of the Bill of Rights right here, so we're going to be taking an in-depth look of what the Bill of Rights covers. So it looks here that the Bill of Rights was actually written about 10 years ago by a guy named James Madison. The reason why it was added was for greater constitutional protection for individual liberties. So I'm looking here on uh, the page that talks about the First Amendment, and it looks like, based on what I'm reading, um, that the First Amendment actually allows for freedom of speech. So let's take a closer look at uh, what the freedom of speech actually means. I love my president, Donald Mix Trump. Mix Wilson. So as you can see, uh, the people of America totally can say whatever they want. I, will, I don't censor at all. They can do whatever they want, unless they're talking about this guy. <laughs> Why would you even want that guy as a leader when you could have a guy more like this? Oh, wow. Okay. That's news to me. So it looks like the Second Amendment actually says you have the right to bear arms. I, I, that's really awesome. So let's, let's take a look at what that means. Wow, I'm so glad that we live in a country that we can have the right to bear arms and just hold guns whenever we want. Like, look at this one. Oh. Okay. So I completely misunderstood. Uh, when it said the right to bear arms, I thought it meant like the right to like bear some biceps. Clearly wrong. So it looks like the uh, right to bear arms actually means you have the right just to hold a golden pistol, like wherever you want to go. Makes sense now. Mm, okay, another great one right here. Fourth Amendment actually says that all persons will be safe in their houses and no unreasonable search and seizure without a warrant. So boom, let's flip it over here and we'll see what it looks like. How cozy my home is. Look at all the space I have. I love it. Put down your phone and get up against the wall. What did I do? Do you have any weapons? Get away from me. Stay where you are. Police to the rescue. What did I do? You are under arrest. What did I do? You do not have the right to search her without a warrant. Guaranteed under the Fourth Amendment. Okay, uh, that was kind of scary. Um, let's just go to the next amendment. Let's go to the next amendment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, Trump tarts. Uh, so this one actually might be pretty good for you. So I'm looking in here, um, just actually educating myself even. Uh, so the Sixth Amendment says that we have the right to a speedy trial and a fair jury. So let's take a look at what that means uh, from the incident that happened earlier. Good morning. Good morning. Please tell me why you are here today. Um, I uh, went into a house without a warrant. Guilty! Oh. <laughs> Stand up, you're going Guilty. to jail. Guilty. <laughs> Did I get so long? Perfect example of a speedy trial. That thing was over in like two seconds, okay? She also had a pretty fair jury. If you were looking in there, there was what? Three people in there? I think it's pretty fair. All right, so that concludes my first public service announcement as president. Um, I hope the Trumptarians, or Trump Tars, or whatever you want to call them, um, have the same understanding of the Bill of Rights as I do, which is pretty much none at all. All right, so I'm going to play my logo real quick. Right there. That's my very last piece of advice. Play your logo after everything you do so everyone still understands what you're all about. All right, so that's it. Mix Wilson out.